Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. There were protests today again in Netherlands, in both Eindhoven and Amsterdam. It says here the unrest comes a day after youths protesting on the first night of the country's curfew torched a testing facility in Dutch fishing village Urk. And this is getting the attention of the mainstream press. Not much in the UK press so far, but in other places, yes. So yeah, in the Netherlands, they are already in hard lockdown, but to add to that, they have now introduced a curfew. Curfews are not something that have been introduced in the UK, but I'm sure they will at some point as all these countries seem to be following the same lockdown blueprint. The curfews in the Netherlands will be in effect from 9 p.m. on January the 23rd until at least 4.30 a.m. on February the 10th. During these hours, members of the public will be expected to stay at home and it says if you're outside your house after 9 p.m., you will be fined 95 yo-yos. There are a few exceptions like going to work or a medical emergency, etc. But anyhow, this has really pushed the Netherlands into unrest, as can be seen in these videos. It says here, protesters set fire in the center of the southern Dutch city of Eindhoven and pelted police with rocks on Sunday at a banned demonstration against the lockdown measures, while officers responded with tear gas and water cannons arresting at least 55 people. Police in the capital of Amsterdam also used a water cannon to disperse an outlawed anti-lockdown demonstration on a major square ringed by museums. Video showed police spraying people grouped against the wall of the Van Gogh Museum. It was the worst violence to hit the Netherlands since the pandemic began and the second straight Sunday that police clashed with protesters in Amsterdam. Vehicles were also set ablaze near Eindhoven's main railway station, reported regional broadcaster Omrup Brabant. Dutch rail company NS urged travellers to avoid the Eindhoven station. This is from Hugo Talks. <clears throat> Thank you, Hugo Talks. It's about time people started to stand up against this fascism that's taken over. <laughs> 